Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwana's Kitchen. I'm Kiwana. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all on how I make these Korean style cheesy corn dogs. Guys, when I say these things turned out so good and perfect, they did just that. So, if you guys want to see how I make them, keep watching. Okay guys, in my bowl here I have a total of three cups of flour and I am now going to go in with my yeast. I'm using the instant yeast that you don't have to proof. You could just add it to your recipe and mix everything up and go. So I'm going in with a tablespoon and a half of that. I'm adding in some salt and also some sugar which is going to feed the yeast and then I'm going to give this a good mix until everything is mixed up thoroughly before I start to go in with my wet ingredients. Now when it comes to the wet ingredients guys I'm gonna be using a total of three cups of water but I'm gonna gradually add that water in here until I reach the consistency that I'm looking for okay now um, you want to make sure you get that consistency of a really really thick pancake batter or kind of like a waffle batter rather the one like you put inside the waffle maker um, you want it very very thick um, now going in with some vegetable oil I added in two tablespoons of that and then I went in again with another half a cup of water and like I said guys I just mix this in until I reach that consistency that I was looking for which is this right here like I said you want it to be very very tacky okay um, you can see it's pretty much sticking to the bowl um, that's what you want so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour and 45 minutes because you want to treat this as if you are making bread but we're using it to coat our cheese sticks so here it is here guys after about two hours which I kind of forgot about it but it's okay guys just don't let it go past then um, you know go past two hours um, you don't want it to kind of deflate on its own which is pretty much what it will do so I'm just giving this a good mix but I'm not mixing it okay just kind of scraping it down for the sides from the sides so I set that to the side so now we're gonna cut our cheese this right here is the cheese that I'm um, gonna be using and we're gonna cut out some nice sized you know cheese sticks okay because we want to have some nice sized corn dogs so um I'm just going ahead and cut these I'm gonna cut this into like I should get like six out of each block because I'm doing a total of two blocks of this so um, I'm gonna cut those in half and then get the skewers in which you can see right here so now guys we are ready to coat our cheese and this right here I'm gonna pretty much let you guys watch and see how I do it because this is actually how I learned from the videos that I was watching yes guys I learned this technique from the video um, I'm pretty sure you guys saw them as well of how they make the Korean style, you know, style corn dogs. But um, yeah, you got kind of saw the cheese was kind of trying to come out of there, so I just kind of helped it a little bit trying to get that batter on there. So um, after I got it on, I got my panko breadcrumbs, I got poured about a cup and a half onto a plate, and then I just started to roll my cheese covered. Um, you know corn dogs into the panko breadcrumbs and then I set them to the side as I finished up the other cheese dogs so um, after when I well while I was doing this guys I was going ahead and kind of helping the panko to kind of stick to the che <laughs> cheese and I did that there as well just kind of make sure the panko was at the top because you don't want to leave no spot uncovered okay so I was just trying to make sure it was thoroughly packed on there so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys another one. And you can see it is very, very tacky. But you can also see where that batter is like kind of trying to release from the cheese. So that's why I was kind of just still dipping it in there. Um, but yeah, you don't want it to be very, very thick, okay? Um, you want it to look just like that right there. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just cover this in the panko breadcrumbs and then I'm just gonna sit it to the side on my plate and I pretty much did that with all the other ones so now I did another one and now I'm gonna cover this in potatoes and the potatoes that I'm using for this corn dog is the ones from Walmart okay these are the regular hash browns these are not the ones with the pepper blend and all of that stuff in there you want to get the regular hash browns okay so um, like I said I'm just making sure they are 
not sticking or what you guys can see right here but then i'm also just kind of filling in the spots that i see on the corn dog that isn't covered with the potato so just like the other guys we're going to go ahead and cover this with the panko breadcrumbs and then i'm going to sit it to the side to rest a bit and then you don't want it to rest too much because you're going to notice that your corn dogs are going to start to swell up and that's pretty much the yeast from the bread that's you know activated and got the dough kind of getting wider and wider so yeah you don't want it to sit too long maybe like a minute or so as your oil heat up or you can just have it heating up you know as you're doing this little process here um which i should have did but i know next time so um yeah you just want to go ahead and have it looking like that right there and then just sit it to the side and i did do another one guys for you because i only made two you guys already know how my son is he is a very very picky eater so i only made one for me and nyla so um yeah i did another one and again i did the same process after i got the potatoes on there and i just coated them in the panko breadcrumbs and I am so happy that I actually learned the real way of how they make these corn dogs because um, I actually love these. I did try these at the restaurant once before and we loved them. So now I got my oil here, which is heated up. So now we're going to go in with our corn dogs. And guys, I apologize as I was trying to let you guys see the whole cooking process. I didn't know that my phone had died as it was recording. So I did catch this step right here and also the next step of where I was trying to turn turn the corn dogs because I don't know if you can notice still how notice at the bottom there how the batter was trying to go flat so I just started to kind of twist them around a bit just to make sure that wouldn't happen and of course like panko breadcrumbs guys these started getting crunchy as ever and they turned out perfect as you can see right here so I just got them onto my plate guys and we could not wait to dig in when I say they turned out perfect they turned out perfect so of course just like they do at the restaurant or whatever I did sprinkle on some sugar some ketchup and some mustard and here it is here guys like I said you can see they turned out perfect and I'm also going to show you the inside of the corn dog as well so you can see how that bread fluffed up and cooked beautifully so that's it for my video guys showing you of how i cook these korean style corn dogs i hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did please give my video a thumbs up support my channel by subscribing and until next time you guys take care bye